today's video, I'm going to explain the player HUD screen. So this is the default player HUD. I think it'll be suitable for today's demonstration. You can, you know, go about creating your own uh, version of this in the future. Uh, but this will do for now. So what we have is a stat screen for our player. And at the top, we see that the player's level the amount of XP that the player has uh, accumulated so far uh, against the next level. You can see that the player starts currently with 10 points that they can allocate to strength, intelligence, dexterity, and armor skill. Um, and those stats uh, correspond to things like health, mana, stamina, armor, uh, things like that. So. If we allocate one point to strength, we can see it deducts one point from our pool. It adds uh, the amount added here in the bar, so kind of a progress bar. And then we see the that amount accumulated here. And plus, the amount of health has been increased by 100. Okay. Um, same thing with intelligence, obviously corresponds to mana dexterity to stamina and then armor rating is going to go to uh, armor toughness which is a little bit harder to explain but we'll get into that in a moment so let's break this down and see how it all works so here on the default HUD screen we have a lot of moving parts here and I'm going to try to break this down piece by piece um, so we have some text that's on the screen and that's just giving us a label. So that's just using the add some text button here to produce a label. Uh, we have a variable. So if you've watched any of the previous HUD videos, I, I talk through the variables and how they're created. Um, there's a lot of variables that come with Max. There are global variables that we can use. And these are all referencing those type of variables. Um, so you don't have to make these, these come preloaded. You just really need to reference them. So here you can see we're using the user defined global name, my player level, which corresponds to the player's level. It's predefined, so we can just use that. Um, now here in the global settings, we have exposure to some of those um, variables but not all of them right so my player level for example i don't believe is in there Just scanning through there i don't know it's it's making a liar of me we can increment that all we want to um let's make it one uh there was one i'll come across it here in a moment because there was one that i couldn't find in there but I, you know, just bear in mind that if it's not in there, it's not meant to be manipulated. At least not yet. This, one of the things that I wanted to make sure I mentioned was that this is a point in time, a starting place, a proof of concept, if you will. It's not a finished product. So what we're examining right now is as of this moment. And if the, uh, if the screen changes or the settings change in the future, I'll probably just make another video and explain what's different. Um, so if you're watching this a year, two years in the future, um, then chances are something's probably changed. So just look out for that. But back to what we were saying. Um, so we have these global variables that are being referenced. Uh, this is the one I was thinking of my new points text uh, you remember before when I showed you the screen it said you have 10 points left to use I couldn't find anywhere where I could manipulate that text maybe I wanted to say something different I couldn't find a way to do that so that was the, the variable I was saying is not exposed in the in the UI here okay these are all just numbers all right um, this also is just text, so again, it's just a label, and I think it's a good practice to get into. Every time we're you know, putting something on the screen, we need to explain 
what it is to our player. We can't just assume that the player is going to understand what that is. So make a, a habit of labeling the elements that you're putting on their screen. Um, you might be looking at these and saying, well, what is that? What are these little H's hovering over here? Well, as I click through these, notice that these are also user defined globals that are predefined by armor toughness. We talked about that and dexterity, intelligence. Um, but the thing about them is that they're hidden. So the checkbox here that says hide text, if I were to uncheck that, we would see that it's showing the number that corresponds to what that, um, that variable is preset to. Um, but we don't want to display the maximum number to our player necessarily. Um, so we can check that box and it doesn't show up on the screen. It's really just there as an, as a H in parentheses. So you can get to it right as the developer. Um, and the reason that's important is because this number is my current strength, right? It says my strength really better way of saying is my current strength, my current strength. Uh, is zero. If I increment that by using a skill point, then that'll go up to one. And then this bar is uh, my strength, my current strength over my strength max. So it's a, uh, a fraction. It's one out of 10, right? Uh, so when we increment that, we see the amount of this bar get filled in um, with the highlight color, right, that we see here. So we can make that, you know, red or green or whatever color we want. Um, but that's what it's doing is it's uh, highlighting a fraction of that bar based on the ratio between the uh, current value and the max value. Okay. Um, these buttons are interesting. It took me a second to kind of figure out how these worked. Um, we can see that there's a darker image and a lighter image for the hover. So when I hovered over uh, these buttons, it changed the color of the button. Just that's a visual cue just to let the player know that they're actually click, like hovering on that particular button. Um, and you can see here that when I click that button, it's returning the button ID to Lua. So in the background, what it's saying is when I click this button, pass this parameter to the function and that function tells the uh, HUD to deduct one point for my player skills and add one point to whatever stat this corresponds to. But the part that I was really stuck on was, well, how does it know, how does the button know which uh, value to increment? How does this button know that it's the strength button? And it took me a while to figure it out. And then I realized that we have something here called hide text. And if we uncheck that, that's what we get um, the answer to that question. So you can see it says award colon my strength. So that is a keyword. Essentially, we've talked about keywords in previous videos. So you want to award one point to whatever stat you're referencing. So make sure you're doing it that way and then just hide that so it's not visible to the player. We don't need to show them that. We just want to show them the button. Okay. Um, and then we have uh, really more of the same down here. We have a hidden variable. This is the uh, initial health um, and it's referencing the, this is the maximum health. Uh, these are just labels, I think, right? So all these are just variables. My, my suggestion to you is to go through this screen like I'm doing here and identify the difference between a uh, max value and a current value and in, in the interplay between the two, especially if you're going to try to make your own HUD screen. If you want to use the out of the box HUD screen, it's already set up for you. I think understanding the relationship is good, but you don't necessarily need to know that if you're going to just use the preset. Okay. So lastly, we talked about my armor and we talked about my armor toughness, right? So that would be this one here. My max, uh, my armor toughness max is a preset value. Um, and then we have the toughness here, but when I, 
uh, increase my armor skill, that number didn't go up. So why is that? Well, if we examine this, we can see that it's not the amount of armor that we currently have. It's the max amount of uh, my armor toughness that's going up. The equipment that you are uh, that you pick up is the thing that's going to increase the uh, armor rating, right? So imagine if you had um, body armor, right? You may want that body armor to deplete uh, if it's being hit. And in fact, there is a formula uh, built in for that. But your your body, your character may also just have an inherent toughness. Um, and that's what that is for. So that's the way the, the character screen, the player screen works. But then I had further questions. I asked, well, okay, that's great and all. We can increment numbers based on, you know, values and buttons. But what does it all mean, right? How, how do I acquire XP to begin with? Um, and the answer to that is there are two ways currently. And again, remember point in time, right? It could change, probably will change. But right now, uh, the way you would acquire XP, you could acquire it through a quest. And I will definitely be doing a video here in the near future on quests and the quest screen because it's going to be the uh, one of the last uh, two HUD screens I still need to cover. So we'll cover that in the future video. But you could acquire uh, experience through questing or you can acquire uh, experience through killing something. Now, what you kill is irrelevant at this point. Any kill is worth 100 experience points. So if I kill a zombie, if I kill an NPC, if I kill a squirrel, same difference, okay? Um, and that's all hard-coded currently in the software, and there's no way to change that currently. <laughs> I want to stress that because don't get it, don't get bit out of shape. It's going to change. There, it's just a point in time. Okay. Um, so that led me to my next question, which was, well, how how much experience does it take to go from level one to level two, and from level two to three, and so on? And again, uh, the answer to that is a hard coded equation, uh, which is essentially the level number, whatever level you are, times five hundred experience. So if you're level one, it's going to take you 500 experience to get to level two. If you're level two, it's going to take you a thousand experience to get to level three. If you're level three, it'll take 1500 and so on. I think you get the idea, right? So it's just level times 500 experience. Again, point in time for the sake of, you know, d proof of concept and it can get uh, improved later. All right. So, we know that strength increases health and how that's fairly obvious what the benefit of that is, right? You have more hit points. Um, intelligence increases mana, which would really only come into play if you have something that uses mana. So for instance, if we were, if we were casting spells, the cast of that spell may cost mana. And so the greater your pool, the more spells you can cast. So that is one example of how that might be used. So the question I had then was, well, what about stamina? What good is stamina? Um, and right now it has to do with sprinting. Um, I don't believe it has to, there's anything else that uses stamina currently. I think in the future there probably will be. Um, but for right now, uh, we know that if we press and hold the shift key in a, in a level, we can run, but only for a short distance. And the stamina value is going to allow you to run for a longer period of time. Okay. So um, my next questions had to do with armor and how that is calculated today. Once again, we find ourselves with a point in time, a, a, um, a hard coded value. Uh, the armor, the armor absorbs damage. Um, and so if I am hit with 10 points of damage and I have some armor that's going to absorb some of that damage uh, for me and the armor will get depleted. But the armor depletion is really more of a, it's, it's not 
Uh, it's not like it's going to deduct 10 points. It's go it has a 1 in 10 chance to degrade by 1. Um, and so eventually, if you get hit enough, that armor amount will decrease to 0. Um, but uh, it's not going... It's not 1 for 1 point of damage, point of armor, if that makes sense. So again, it's hard-coded. There's nothing we can do to change that today. But in the future, I believe there are plans to make that a little more flexible. Um, and I believe that is everything there is to really know about the player screen today. Um, if you have additional questions, please be sure to leave those in the comments. I will get the, to the bottom of those questions and, and answer those for you. Um, but this is all I could think of to, uh, to ask and answer in this video. Um, if you enjoy the video, if you learned anything new, uh, let me know in the, you know, by clicking the like button that always helps out. Uh, if you're new here, or if you haven't already subscribed, a uh, great time to do so. Uh, we just surpassed, uh, 100 subscribers, which was a neat milestone. I was really excited about that. Um, and if you want a notification for when the next video comes out, bell icon's your friend, just click that and it'll give you a notification anytime I post a new video. Um, but that is it for me today. Uh, thanks so much for watching all the way through and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.